Hi, Darren Mangum here, the PPM attorney. A few, uh, a few months ago, I uh, posted a video uh, giving you a little update about the uh, Kick Interactive, KIK. Uh, there's a, a cryptocurrency issuer out of Canada who were uh, challenging the SEC's authority to regulate cryptocurrencies. In fact, they were talking a big game about you know, challenging the SEC uh, proactively uh, challenging their jurisdiction over over the cryptocurrency uh, market in, in particular. Um, well, guess what? Just a few weeks ago, I wanted to post this update. Uh, the SEC actually sued uh, Kick Interactive uh, in federal court for a hundred million dollars. And what's interesting about this case is that they, you know, unlike in most cases, the SEC usually brings uh, cases based upon fraud. Um, in this case, they did not even allege that Kik did anything wrong when it came to fraud. Did they, they're not claiming that, that uh, Kik was doing any fraudulent activity, that they deceived the investor or misled the investors in any material way. All they're claiming is that, the, that it was just simply they failed to register the security under the Securities Act. Um, Section 5 of the Securities Act requires all securities to be registered with the SEC or I mean, unless an exemption is available like you know oftentimes in these videos we talk about Regulation D um, being a primary example of an exemption from registration but if there is no exemption that covers the transaction which obviously KIC did not you know, they did not file anything with the SEC claiming an exemption. Uh, therefore, under Section 5 of the Securities Act, the SEC is alleging in this federal case that, that, um, that they simply failed to file, like the law requires, uh, register or failed to register the securities under the Exchange Act. And, and basically, it's against the law to issue securities uh, in the United States. Uh, whatever they happen to be, stocks, bonds, cryptocurrencies, what have you, unless they are registered with the SEC or unless an exemption, a covering exemption, again, like Regulation D is, a covering exemption, unless an exemption requires, you can't do it. And so, um, anyway, it's a fascinating case and, uh, you know, nobody likes to be sued for $100 million. They're asking for hundred million dollars plus disgorgement of any profits and alleging that the investment or the cryptocurrency itself was sold uh, for the purpose of uh, you know increasing you know profits for the investors you know if obviously buy buy this cryptocurrency at this price and later it's gonna increase in value that's the whole proposition uh, and so anyway uh, interesting update I'll, po I'll post a link to the uh, the, the securities litigation release uh, link so you could read up on the case. But uh, as we do, you know, my law firm, we do a lot of, uh, um, we have a lot of clients in the crypto space and, you know, blockchain related technologies. And, and obviously, you know, it's a very new and evolving area, but, you know, clearly uh, it's been very clear for a long time that the, SE, that the securities laws apply. And obviously our job is to make sure uh, that it's done right. Um, too bad Kick didn't call us uh, ahead of time. You know, they just went out and did it. But that's what a lot of people do. They don't uh, do the research and and get a get good good uh, securities counsel on board. So, anyway, fascinating case. Uh, you know, uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll see who wins. But uh, I think I would place my bet on the uh, on the federal government in this case. But you know. They don't, they don't win them all, but uh, in this case, we'll see what happens. But uh, anyway, uh, hopefully this is, this, is informative, uh, this is informative stuff. And again, if, uh, if this is helpful to you, uh, feel free to like, uh, you know, click the like button or subscribe to my channel. And, or feel free if you, have a, if you have a cryptocurrency case or a project that you're working on uh, and you need help, uh, feel free to reach out. Thank you.